Hey, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music Welcome. This is going to be another sort of addition to the shootout series. This time it's the blowhard edition, meaning brass. And by this time, I mean, I did a video a little while ago. It's the last video on the channel. Check it out. It's uh, actually, it's the, there's two videos ago, whatever. And it was a shootout with strings, uh, spiccato articulations between a bunch of great Spitfire libraries, Spitfire Company, who I tremendously respect who I don't work for, by the way. Someone thought that I work for them. I don't. I work for a different audio company, and it's not Spitfire. So, um, you know the rules. They're the same this time, too. We're going to be dealing with Spitfire. We're going to be dealing with Brass. But we're loudest match as well across all of the libraries so that we don't get fooled into thinking that one library is superior or more powerful or whatever just because it's louder than the other one, and no one else does this on YouTube. So I have Isotope's Insight here, and we are playing things back at around minus 27 LUFS. LUFS is a much better gauge of loudness than RMS or anything like that. It takes into account how our ears perceive different frequencies. Really good. Switch everything you're doing to LUFS instead of RMS when you're mastering or mixing or anything like that. Now, it's minus 27. It was minus 30 in the other video. Someone said it was a bit too quiet. So now we're at minus 27 LUFS ish for every sample library. So that's true. The other thing that's consistent across this video and the last one is that things are dry. I got rid of all the artificial reverb. I've close mic'd everything. We're not getting any ambient or tree or deca mics or anything like that. This is all close mic close up. There are some differences though. Um, we're still going to be doing spiccato -y sort of um, patches, articulations. In this case, it's going to be a short uh, articulation across each one because I find that just it's consistent across all the libraries, which is awesome. But the one difference is I have a, a melody, which I did before in the other video, but the difference here is that I'm also doing legato stuff. So I'm doing uh, sustained, um, you know, intense sustained notes. I'm basically trying to say I'm doing a Hans Zimmer sort of blah sort of sound. So um, I'll play you the melody that I'm going to be playing across each one of these um, libraries and I'll play you the boas. And just to stay in Spitfire fandom here, uh, to be truly Spitfire-ish about this, I got this, uh, I'm going to play the test melody, but not on a brass library, but on Triple Felt Experiment, which was, uh, which is a brand new sample library instrument thing direct from Christian Henson, Mr. Spitfire Radio. Go to his channel, go to his vlog, watch it. He just gave this away. Don't go there for free stuff. Just go there for the knowledge. A guy who started an amazing company and works in the industry, he is on the front lines of this industry, and he's just giving away knowledge and amazing tools. So this is the Triple Felt Experiment from Christian Henson, and here's the melody that we're going to be playing across each one of these libraries, and then I'll play you the sort of bois sound, and then we'll get into it. So here is the melody on the Triple Felt Experiment. If you want this library, this triple felt uh, experiment library, go to his website or just message me in the comments and I'll send you there. Not his website, his YouTube channel. So now here is the boise that we're going to be hearing across each of the libraries. This sound, this is sort of just to describe it, this is what goes off in my head when my girlfriend comes out of the bathroom with the results of the pregnancy test. This is the sound. A little glimpse into my brain there. So, let's get started. Albion 1, which I omitted from the first video, so someone pointed out. I just didn't have it installed properly. So Albion 1, a bit of history. This is, I mean, this is the library that, in my view, puts Bitfire Audio on the map. This is what made them relevant to video game composers, trailer composers. People really started to take the company, um, I don't want to say seriously, but they really gave them a second look after this library came out. So it is a kind of a legacy instrument. It has been around for a while. It got a bit of Botox recently. I think it was more like GUI overhaul. But we are going to listen to Brass High, Brass Mid, and Brass Low. Here we go. Albion 1 Brass, no reverb. I'll shut up and just play the sample. <laughs> play all the samples twice. I'll put this back on last time. <laughs> to me, again, this is definitely impressive, but it's also, you can tell that this is an instrument that is 
um, sort of what's well, one of the first instruments from Spitfire? One of the first sort of grandiose all-in-one suitcase full of knives and machine guns and grenades. This is the toolkit for action trailer whatever composers out there so keep that in mind let's have a listen to i'm going to do the bois a little later i'll do the bois in sequence for now i'll just do that melody so we can keep our brains sort of in one mindset in one place but albion one brass that's what it sounded like now let's go to albion three brass and just a quick note here by the way pro tip if you guys want to toggle uh different tracks and have the have the contact um instances just open up instead of you having to go press the contact button here just press this link right there see what happens here i will go up to uh, albion one brass where we just were it's not going to change it stays uh, in sen iceni inseni iceni uh three but if i toggle this button here it'll link so that now when i go up we're back to brass now when i go down to albion three we're there so just a little tip for you okay now close mic anyway uh, we don't have a lot of options here for octaves and stuff like that, so everything's in the lower register. So what I did was I just copied and pasted the lower melody of this test melody. So it's just going to play twice. It's going to be four times to be perfectly accurate. Here we go. Albion 3, Brass. <laughs> time. I mean, this sounds like a bunch of people like broke into your house and like played this in front of you and just like maintained eye contact with you the entire time. Very intense. Obviously, this is all about the lows. Albion 3 was all about sort of the intensity, the lows, the sort of guttural feeling um that an orchestra could bring about and if i go here we have string low woodwind low i mean it was all about the sort of you know this the sort of low end the subbiness so keep that in mind and again we'll come back to the bois here's albion five brass this makes me giggle a little bit because this library wasn't really meant to be played at a sort of like staccato -y, like da -da 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 -da, what's gonna happen sort of thing so i've chosen some <laughs> I've chosen a couple of articulations that kind of mimic the short spiccato nature of the other um, articulations in the other libraries, but Albion 5 Tundra is a really different fish. So keep that in mind. These are the closest articulations I can get to something short, and let's have a listen. So we're using Granular Flutter A from the Brass High and Short from the Brass Low. I'm going to play it twice. Here we go. Albion 5. <laughs> So the room isn't completely dry. There's a bit of noise in there for sure. Um, and again, I think it sounds really cool. You can hear the thing I loved about if you go watch the other video, the the shootout that I did with like, the spiccato thing with uh, with strings, you can really hear the human element to these libraries, uh, to 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 Albion Five. So you can hear things clicking. I thought I heard a guy's nose whistling. It could have been like tape piss. I'm not really sure. But there's something I really like, something very physical about Albion Five, and I think it's sort of um, it, it shows up in, in this library and in that pass that I played right there. So anyway, let's move on now to, uh, the Bernard Herman Brass Library, which, um, has a whole different flavor, which I really love. And here we're using, okay, I guess I move that up there. Let's move it back down. We are going to be using horns, mid brass and trombones. I'm not really sure what mid brass is composed of or horns is composed of the details are a little bit uh, scarce online if you go to the the website they're not very clear or it could be that i'm uh, i can't read so maybe it wasn't there but close mic'd no reverb let's go <laughs> Thank you. 
to me, the Bernard Herman library is as kind of eccentric and gangly as he was. It's, it's just sort of like this weird kind of hybrid thing that just walks funny and talks funny. And he didn't walk and talk funny, but he's a funny looking guy. He was a funny looking guy who made great music for terrifying films. And I don't know what I'm getting at, but I'm not going to edit this out. So to me, there's a kind of awkwardness, a gangliness, a kind of gaucheness about this library that I love. And I think it's, it's there definitely in the brass. So that's the Bernard Herman composer toolkit mid-brass trombones and horns. Let's move on to symphonic brass. Much more regal, this library. Um, and we're using horns A2, A6, uh, tenor trombones 2, brass uh, bass trombones, um, and more trombones, more trumpets, trumpets, and uh, simbasi? I, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that properly, but these guys have such a punch. Um, these um, instruments, and you'll really hear them on the low end, so here we go. I don't want to set you up to hear what you're going to hear, but I don't want to influence your sort of opinion, but here we go. So this is the symphonic brass. <laughs> Obviously, that's pretty intense, especially the simbasi. I'm not really sure. Let me solo that just so you can hear how crazy that is. So let's just solo it and play it from the, the midsection here. It just sounds like a like an angry hornet or something. And this is one of those libraries. They all benefit from, from reverb for sure. But this is one of those libraries that really benefits from... Um, some reverb. I just find that it really kind of comes to life when you get uh, time-based effects involved. And just for fun here, what I'm going to do is bring in uh, Altiverb from... Who makes Altiverb again? Where are you? Audio Ease. There we go. So we'll do a stereo reverb here. So listen to this when we put it through Altiverb, and we're going to choose the tell, no, let's choose the, what is the, what's the one that everyone goes for? The Concert House Berlin. Let's choose that. I'm just going to put it on the uh, stereo out. <laughs> Just want to show you what symphonic brass sounds like in a, in a place where it's kind of really you know it really it really needs it doesn't need reverb but you know it benefits from reverb tremendously i think so let me turn altiverb off and now i'll go to mass and play that melody so mass as you know it's called that that, that library sort of uh contains really quick um and easy to use articulations to get you started very you know quickly jumping over my words here but uh let's open it up and it covers a pretty good amount of frequencies here uh, on the piano side. So I'll play it again. Here we go. It's going to sound a little bit like symphonic, but it has a different sort of character to it. I'm using the choir short. More time. So, again, this room has a little bit more life to it. Uh, it's not as dry as some of the other rooms that were used to record these instruments. Um, so you're getting a little bit of sort of natural reverb from the room. I think it's lovely. But uh, I wanted to try in this video to sort of like not critique, not critique, but not um, talk too much about how I feel about the libraries, let you guys make up your own sort of minds. Now let's go with the bois, which are just like, it's, it's fun. You don't hear them a lot in movies anymore, uh, I think for good reason. But anyway, here we go. Albion one, I say for good reason because I feel like we should move on from the Hans Zimmer sound. If someone does it like these days, it sounds a bit derivative and like, oh, is this 2008 or whenever? 
Inception came out. Probably not 2008. It's probably way more recent than that. Uh, my brain doesn't work. Here we go. Albion 1 Brass. Blah. That's intense. Let's go right to the next one. Albion 2 Brass. Blah. Keep moving. Albion 5 Brass. And again, Albion 5, remember, it's a bit of a, it's an interesting little library. It's not really meant for these sort of big action trailer sort of movies, but here we go. You can hear someone like packing up a guitar case in the background. Listen for the clicks, it's funny. Maybe he's like spitting out the sound of his horn instrument. I don't know. One more time. Just listen for the clicks. It's, I'm having fun. That's Christian Henson who added in the sound effect of him like walking through that like Norwegian forest snapping twigs. All right. Here we go. The Bernard Herman brass. Blah. <laughs> I didn't have access to some of the lower um, notes here, so we had to make do in the mid-range. Symphonic brass, blah. Now, just to know something here, I went for, instead of um, the longs on each one, I went for long cuivre, which means leather, I think, in French. I'm not really sure what that means in the context of this. If someone in the comments knows, please let me know and, you know, help me get over my ignorance here. But uh, these were all cuivre la longs, which just had a, a, a much sort of angrier sound, which I liked. And finally, mas. Masi, mas. <laughs> And just so you know, I'm playing two Cs, right? Just like an octave apart for each one of those things. So let's do a grand sort of roll call, okay? And we'll do the melodies first. We'll play them one each. I'll be on one brass. I'll be on three brass. I'll be on five brass. Herman Brass. Symphonic Brass. Let it decay. Here's the symphonic brass bois. Bernard Herman Bois. Albion 5 Bois. Bois. 
Albion 3 Bois. Albion 1 Bois. Hopefully that gives you like a pretty good indication of what these libraries are capable of. Just for fun, I'm going to do a bois on the uh, on the um, triple felt piano. The cool thing about this is when you press a note and hold it, it turns into a pad. I think I told you that. But anyway, let's leave on that. So I'll play two Cs an octave apart. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. Bois, bois, bois. the ghost of Christian Henson right there. All right, take care.